Do you have wrapping paper, bubble wrap, packing tape? I'm going to use these items today to make a beautiful page, tag, and embellishment. It's packing papers day. And at the end of this video, we have a peek at the three new digital kits added to the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie. And this is packing paper or packing stuff. So we're making a page idea, a tag, and an embellishment using packing. And we included wrapping paper. And I had these two in my stash from a present that I had, um, had bought them to wrap. And so we're gonna go ahead and start by cutting um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna cut it at 10. I'm just cutting it down so that it's smaller. Okay, cutting it down so it's smaller because this is not manageable in my little space. Okay, and this one, I'll just pull some out. Okay, so yeah, not not cutting very carefully, just getting it cut, get get her done, just get her done. So, um, so what other packing ideas did you have? I have my Grove packing paper, which I thought I was going to use, and it doesn't look good with this with this journal at all. The Grove pa packing paper is a dark craft color, so um, yeah. So I didn't. I decided not to use that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so I do have a straight edge one there. Okay, on this edge. I'm going to consider that a straight edge and we're probably just going to do the same thing for both. Let's go ahead and set the, yeah, this way. <laughs> okay, so we have a wrapping paper and this is either one of these edges be my my main edge and I'm gonna cut the nine inch nope I better cut the 12 inch first okay so straight edge here Let's start by pushing this piece in Okay, so this is straight edge, so we can come over here. Might be easier. Okay, is this one 12, got 12? Barely, barely got 12. Okay, so let's cut this one at 12 inches right here. Okay, so there's our 12 inches, and this side will be our nine, or our eight and a half, excuse me, our eight and a half. Now we could go ahead and pop this up with a pocket, but I don't think it's really strong enough. You know what I mean? Just don't think it is. Okay, and we'll have that that we can add in to our stash, and I'm just going to go ahead and fold it. Okay. Let's see. This is our straight edge here. You know what? We need 11 or even 10 and a half. Sorry. Th these are going to stick out. That 
that one could be for inside the journal, but inside the inside cover. Okay, so I went with ten and a half here. And we'll do eight and a half this way. Okay, make sure that we're good and straight. Got these pieces over here. Okay, so now that we've done that, we have to put this in at five and a quarter ish. That gives us two of these papers. Okay, so what I'm thinking with this is doing like kind of like a master board kind of idea, but I want to, so we, our base needs to be wallpaper or wrapping paper. Our base needs to be wrapping paper. Now we have these cute little okay I think that one would be a really cute pocket okay um, okay so I want to add some um, I want to add strength to this so I'm going to do that by putting this around now. Um, you know what? Actually, um, we'll, we'll try. We'll try the... Look at this. We've got a big, big piece, state map that we can use. Okay, and I just want to make this um, more substantial. Okay, before I add anything to it, because you know, wrapping paper is wrapping paper. It's like so nothing. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's a great weight. What do you think? Top and bottom? That's easy and And we're using the straps. You know, I like that. I think I'll probably only do one of these ideas today. Otherwise, our video will be too long. But, but I have my, my paper ready to make another one for the journal itself. So, okay. Okay, we have little problem here. It's on both sides. It's okay. Okay. Okay, there's that. I think we can get away with a piece here on each side. all those calendar pieces from the calendar my mom had cut so let's see I think that's actually good enough right there okay and I'm gonna just put it on here I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, whoa pockets because it's still got the parts of the wrapping paper that are pretty thin. I like this polka dot over here, the blue polka dot. I think that's kind of fun. And there we go. We have a page. Okay. Okay, 
also on this side. What if we went with this? Okay. I do still have some. Oh, well, my finger is really stuck to it. Okay, put it in on the inside. Okay, so there's that. And I think we should continue to put something there. Who do I have over here? A little piece of map. <laughs> That's not over there, but just to do something different, to totally collage on this page. this way. And you could use branding strips here. It's just that they are a much thicker um, piece of paper. The cardstock branding strips are much thicker than what I'm Kind of, I kind of want my papers the same weight here. Okay, so I'm going to look and see what I have in the way of... Oh, you know what I have? I have napkin. I have guest check. A pink guest check. No, but I think that, that might be on this page. I have this. We need to pull that out so that we move. Okay. okay, what about from one of the calendar pages, one of the, the side pieces? Oh, and we have her too. And we have this. They should be out so that maybe we can use them. I do have, oh, it's kind of small. And I did say I wasn't going to use that. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. What about this wrapping paper? Like this piece. So a mini master board, master board in the middle, a middle master board collage sheet. That's what, that's what it actually, it's a collage sheet. Okay. And so we have to cut through the coffee cup. That's okay, it's better than cut, cutting through the doll's head, right? That's at the top. Okay, so we'll add this little piece of... 
Now my um, bases from the All About That Base, they, f they fell down yesterday. I was like, oh yeah, we should do something like that. Okay, so now we did. Yay. Okay, so we have this little butterfly piece. If we do one of those, we could fit one of these in here. Could put it in the corner more. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this underneath on this corner. Then this, I'm gonna put it down on top of that as a, oh, we need to thicken, we need to thicken this. <laughs> you know what's over here for thickening? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. So remember, I like to use up my scraps. This is the piece that's left over from making yesterday's tag. Okay, and I like that it has that little bit of red. Remember that these two pages are probably going to be on opposite sides of the journal from each other. So we don't have to match or don't have to worry about that. I mean, I, I was just thinking that, wow, they're pretty similar. I think we'll do a tuck spot. Okay, a tuck spot being that it just holds something in on two sides instead of three. Okay. Okay, so we have, remember you have to do at least three things to your page idea. So there we have our page idea. We did get some wrinkles. I'm just going to flatten them out. Not going to worry about them too much, but we have a nice paper, a nice thickness of paper here. Okay, so that's my page idea. We um, used, cut the papers, used the scraps to go ahead and um, I think that that turned out really cool. I'm not liking the blue dots anymore because they're not, they're not straight actually. Well, it kind of, it just looks like I didn't finish. Oh, look at this. What we got here? Huh. You just never know. That's a whole lot of glue for that little tiny piece. That's okay. Uh, just on the picture, I think. Just along the picture. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Now what if we come over here with this piece and put a piece down here. Okay. Oh, there's no glue on there. Okay, but there's glue there. Put it, put it up there. Okay, so there's my page idea and it can go, we can put this in the journal either way. So let's go ahead and move on to our tag idea. So, hmm, tag idea. What if we take the page that we cut to be a page and fold it into itself? Oh, that's a really nice weight. Okay, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fold it into itself. You know, because this is dollar store or dollar general wrapping paper, probably, because that's usually what I buy when I buy it specifically for a present. It's usually, oh yeah, I need, I want to wrap this this way. 
Okay, so I could go ahead and have it be an open tag, but I'm really thinking I want it to be, you know, a nice heavier tag. is our nice heavier tag okay so let's go ahead and cut this down and we'll go ahead and cut across here so it's not too tall and let's just do your regular tag okay so regular tag And even with like, I brought in packing, packing paper that was inside of a shoe <laughs> that I bought. Um, cause it, it kind of would have matched. It was a grayish color it would have matched better than the, better than the other one. Okay. So I have my my embellishment that we made at the mini challenge. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sew around this and that'll give me one thing. This is something you could make a few of these and have them ready, especially for at the end when you find that you, oh, I need something for here, I need something for here. Ooh, I like this side even better. I like that side. But with the with the thing, which side will I like better? Well, I do like this side. Okay. Um Okay, I'm actually almost thinking about adding a little bit of fabric on this. Remember, this is very eclectic. And that fabric was, we got to add the fat that some fabric at the mini challenge and the challenge. So make sure you're doing those. You can only add the items if you actually make the mini challenge. Yes, 
like look at that where would I right there <laughs> I hope so okay so we added stitching which is one fabric is two and the embellishment counts as three because this is the embellishment that we made in our mini challenge in the challenge so that counts as one one thing okay so there is my tag i love it I, I, you guys i love the way this feels love the way it feels feels amazing so um I can go ahead and add that into my little spot right there. Okay. Okay, so next I have an interesting one. Let's look around the table and see what we can use. We are going to use packing tape as our base okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down okay so packing tape is my base I'm gonna turn it upside down so the sticky side is up and hope that I can see it Okay, now the interesting thing here is we are going, um, we are stacking backwards here, okay? Stacking backwards. But what I want to do, and I need to have a size, okay, so I think we'll put this over here as a guide to the size. Um, it can actually be shorter than that. And, okay, where's the, where's the packing? Packing stuff. Packing stuff, where are you? Okay. Okay. That's too, actually too wide. Okay, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna stack. We're gonna collage upside down. Okay, so we've been using the flowers. I think that that will be fun. Okay, and let's see, mellowed, minimum. Handsome film achieve game. Huh, <laughs> flamboyant. Okay. Flamboyant. Okay. Okay. Go with. This at one edge. Okay. And this on the other, the other edge, but in, coming in from the, because we need to be able to connect to things on the outside, right? Okay. Um, let's see, we have our map. That's cool because it's double-sided. We'll put that down here. Do we have another map flower? We do. Okay. Yellow. I want the yellow to show. So everything that we've put down is going to show. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. And oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, 
Okay, so we have, have the words. Um, I'm gonna take a peek. That's what we've got so far, you guys. Oh, I know what we can put. Oh, except the flamboyant doesn't go with it, but I was thinking we could go ahead and cut. Audrey Ann. I think we'll cut Audrey Ann and put her in there in her overalls. Okay. So we don't want this to stick. I, I hope she's not too, too big. Okay. So the, again, this is from some scrapbook paper that my mom had and it was the cover and I used the paper for something else. And she had used most of it. I just used a couple of pieces, but I saved the, the cover in with my Mary Inglebright stuff. Okay, so we're just going around her shoulder. <laughs> Be careful, don't let any of these land on the tape. Okay, I, th I think we'll be, be good. Um, we do we need her overalls and her cute little cloggy shoes. Okay, I'm not gonna cut the tabs off this time, you guys. You know, I, I did on the last one, I cut the tabs, but I don't think we need the extra bulk. Oh, there's no tabs down on the bottom down here. Okay, I'm gonna come up and cut her off. Sometimes it's, <laughs> wow, it's easier to maneuver if you have less that you're holding on to. Okay, so I have the back end of the little tool there. Come down and around her ankle. Okay, around her neck. Okay. So we'll put her outfit on her. Oh my gosh, doesn't fit her. But, well, that's a trip. The other one fit perfect. This one does not fit. Do you see that? Does not fit. Okay. Um, okay, what if I go ahead? Yeah, I'm gonna just put that on. Oh man, did you see that? So there's that and there's that. Okay, so now we come back. Um, maybe we need another word. Gather. Wow, don't get, don't get stuck. Or what if we put yellow would have been cute behind it. Okay, let's go with the straight on the outside. This one actually looks a little bit straighter. done um, packing tape bookmarks before on this channel. This is not my, not my first, but I've never done it like this where I stacked them upside down like this. Okay. So the hard thing is 
seen for the edges. Okay. Okay, so there's that edge. There's that edge and hopefully we're on it. Okay. So this is a way you can make bookmarks if you um, have someone that likes to read or okay so we're not done yet we'll go ahead and cut across here and then we'll go around and make sure that our edges are stuck together tight pull out any um, where there's any wrinkles because there's a wrinkle right here so just make sure that the air on the outside Good. and then we're going to go ahead and trim around it um, yeah trim all the way around it the bottom is heavy from the from the little girl she's she's heavy okay go around it one more time there we go okay and so this is what we have and we could have added some things to the back. We didn't obviously. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a hole in it. And I am going to add an eyelet and I will tell you that there will be eyelets in the mini challenge and the challenge on Friday but it really, it's gonna, it needs an eyelet. <laughs> so. It's got the cutest little button. I'm gonna take a cutest little button. I'm working on the lemon journal also. Okay, so here's a green eyelet. I'm going to go ahead and set it with my crop dial and I didn't check the to make sure I had the right one in there just want, just want to get her done okay so there's that and I'm gonna just add if I can find it I'm gonna add a little piece of the blue and white fabric I thought we it was right here there it is okay so I'm just gonna just want to add a little piece of the blue and white fabric okay so this is from that shirt <laughs> this is its third appearance in journal making okay so this is my embellishment I made a bookmark out of packing tape because you know, why not packing, packing tape? I mean, I don't want to throw anything away. So I'm going to go ahead and separate those two a little bit. I'm going to use the tiny attacher to put it down. And that's just because it um, will have less bulk. So packing tape, bookmark, packing tape, bookmark. And there it is. There it is. Isn't it so cute? It can go right in here with the fashionable flamboyant. And this is our packing. So packing, we put wrapping paper under packing. And um, so then I had one other thing. I don't even need it, but let me show you. When you're playing with packing, well, maybe not. Oh, here it is. One of the things you might have is some bubble wrap. I actually have a bubble wrap pocket and I was thinking about making a page out of it. Okay. Cutting it, making a page and it would have two pockets. And then I, I talked to myself out of that. I am going to go ahead and straighten up the top up here. Okay. And so one of the things that is really fun that you can do with bubble wrap is I don't know if this would be stamping or stenciling or what it would be, but it makes the coolest image. Okay. So if you wanted to 
add a little something. Okay, using packing items. Okay. Move your hand around though so that you're not always in the same direction. <laughs> Okay, so we've added a little bit of bubble wrap packing to that and a little bit to this. This can go um, over here for, for later, but there is our ideas using packing. Okay, so it ends up we're, we're glad that we went ahead and we'll put that up there because now that we've used it a little bit, we might want to use it again. Um, but, okay, trash, trash, nope, not trash. Okay, so we have our page idea. We went ahead and we patchworked around the outside of this to close up and to make it stronger and then just glued our little mushroom girls there. And then over on this side, we did a mini, ma mini master board collage right here, added this image from the new Daisy digital kit and on top of some packing or packaging and then on top of a piece of map. And then we, so we have, and you guys, the weight of this is amazing. Okay, it's not as thick as cardstock, not as thin as copy paper, it feels amazing. And then we made our tag, and remember we had the same size paper as this, we folded it in, glued it down, and folded it in again, and glued it, and then cut the edges, sewed it up, and this is our tag. Again, feels amazing. It's like the perfect weight. And then for our embellishment, we made a flamboyant <laughs> packing tape bookmark. Okay, these actually work better if you put, um, as you can see, if you put cardstock in them. And um, I just, I got a little excited. So, <laughs> so there we go. And remember we, we stacked this upside down and added scrap pieces of paper behind it. And I think it turned out really, really cute. Um, yeah, packing tape bookmark. So those are our three items for today. Don't forget that all the Daisy kits are on sale along with the Seven Days of Summer digital kit, the Sweet Summer digital pages and ephemera kit, and Patriotic, and the Fairies, Flutters, and Flowers digital kits, all on sale. So, um, look for those you can go to the dear julie julie etsy shop and go to filter to sale okay and and you'll see what is on sale they're all 50 percent off through monday and then and here's a quick look at the new digital kits added to the shop that would be more daisies Summer Daisies featuring red, yellow, green, and black and white polka dots. And Lucy's helping. Won't these be fun with the Mary Inglebright journals? And the journal I'm working on now. Next, we have the Daisy Words quotes and formatted pages. So you have three pages of quotes, several pages of side-by-side -side pages, and the large tags or traveler's notebook style pages. These are gonna be so much fun. So there you go, your quick look at the newest digitals added to the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. Full flip through of the More Daisies and the Daisy Words will be available later on the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. I ran out of ink, so I can't print <laughs> the Daisy Summer Kit yet.
except the pages you've already seen me use in my journal. I'll add that flip through as soon as I can. Patreons, you're, if you're an emerald or a diamond Patreon, your coupon code is in the Patreon. So go pick that up and get your 70% off. And also don't forget that um, today at one o'clock, we have our craft with me. So that's all, all Patreons. We are crafting at one o'clock. The information is in the Patreon. And one more Patreon thing. <laughs> the sneak peek will be on the 27th. And it's a full view of the video for the challenge for July. So um, again, that's Diamond and Emerald Patreons. That is one of your perks. And this time it is the full challenge video. So don't forget to come back and tell me which one was your favorite. Have you ever made a um, packing tape bookmark? And um, yeah, is there something here that you hadn't thought of? And have you tried uh, uh, wrapping paper pages? They, this, this is amazing how this feels, the two pieces together. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to go watch one of these videos because it really does help my channel. Check out Frankie. I'm going to put him at the end of the video again. So we're praying that he finds a home. Frankie was one of the one of Wiley's puppies and the family is unable to keep him. And so he is going to a shelter. It's not it's a um, a rescue. It's a rescue. So um, he's part pit bull. So that he's going to a rescue but let's pray that he gets a good home and check him out and um yeah he was my, he was my favorite when they were born but he was a boy and I could only keep a girl but Olive chose me she decided that I was hers and so um I am very grateful for that I love I love my puppy that is now bigger than both of my dogs <laughs> so have an amazing day thank you so much for being here I'll see you tomorrow. And some of you, I'll see you at one o'clock today. Bye. Bye-bye.